Hi guys, Jay here. Um, I currently have with me an IBM server system X3200 M2. Um, now I have this server machine which I wanted to convert and use as my everyday desktop machine. Uh, one of the problems you have with server machines is that they have integrated graphics on the motherboard. Um, but as I do some video editing and uh, some light gaming, um, I wanted to convert and add in a graphics card. Uh, the problem is with a lot of the older server machines um, is that they don't have a full 16 times PCI Express card slot, uh, as is the case with this machine as well. Uh, what they do have is a PCI Express eight times slot. So in this video I'll just quickly run through what I did to accommodate the 16 times graphics card. Right, so what I've done is I've opened the machine up and what we have is um, dedicated graphics Radeon HD uh, version 4770 uh, now I want to accommodate accommodate this card to fit inside my server box uh, one of the first things you've got to ensure is um, that the PSU on the server can accommodate a graphics card especially if um, the graphics card requires um, external power as well so, so as you can see um, you will just have a look at the PSU just to see if it if it can and as you can see we do have um, the power uh, so now it's just a matter of accommodating the graphics card into the into the machine right so the next step I've done is um, I'm looking at the slots that we have on the machine and we have a couple of normal PCI slots um, and also an old school PCI X uh, slot but we do have some uh, PCI Express times 1 and a PCI Express uh, times 8 um, slot here now one of the things um, I've done earlier is I've actually got a blade and I've cut along there so that the card can actually fit into the slot uh, which I wasn't previously doing. Um, obviously, considering the rail on the graphics card, there is no gap on there. So, I, so to actually get it to physically fit in, um, I've had to just get a Stanley knife and uh, uh, I've I've cut it so it can accommodate the bigger graphics card. One of the other issues that I faced was that the BIOS battery comes in the way, as you can see below. So what I've done is I've desoldered the wire, the, the bat battery from the motherboard uh, and been able to remove the holder altogether. Um, as you can see, sorry about the shaking. So as you can see I've actually removed um, the battery. I'm going to place that somewhere with some double sided tape over there. And one of the wires I've just soldered on has come off so I will solder that back on so we can have a bias battery. Now that I've moved the bias battery out of the way um, it seems to fit perfectly fine so let me just slot this back in and I can show you Right. Now as you can see, the graphics card is sitting perfectly fine, there's no obstructions and it seems to be seated there fine as well. The only thing is the bias battery has moved out of the way but um, I'll soon sort that out and just put it somewhere where it's stable.